We've spent quite some time covering the impact of the pandemic on adults and their related activities, but not enough time on the consequences of COVID-19 on children and their daily lives. So in this next report, that is precisely what we did. Do take a look. Along with the Living with COVID-19 scheme, schools across the country fully reopened in-person classes. However, due to concerns over the rapid surge in infections and the Omicron variant, now schools are at a crossroads again. In fact, as of the first week of December, the number of COVID-19 cases reported among students in kindergartens and grade schools in Seoul exceeded 1,400, almost double from November's number. It's been almost two years since the pandemic broke out, and it is not only adults, but also children who are getting through these challenging times. Today, we are going to take a look at how children are doing amid the pandemic. It's a kid cafe located in the city of Incheon. Since the pandemic broke out, children have become used to wear masks, keep a certain distance from their friends, and sanitize their hands. The full-fledged reopening of schools has brought partial normalcy to children's everyday life, but fear and anxiety over the virus have grown even more. Meanwhile, a lot of parents are thinking whether to vaccinate their children or not due to concerns over potential unknown side effects of COVID-19 vaccines. In Korea, vaccination for children and adolescents aged 12 to 17 began in October. The vaccination campaign for those aged 5 to 11 is yet to begin. There is room for vaccination to be expanded to this age group in the future, as some countries such as the U.S. are giving vaccines to them. The uncertainty caused by not enough COVID vaccine-related clinical trials and data for teenagers is raising parents' concerns. All the while, the results of clinical trials released by pharmaceutical companies showed that vaccine effectiveness among adolescents was similar to those among adults. Meanwhile, anxious parents and students are protesting the government's de facto forcible measures to get children vaccinated. 
it seems much discussion is needed before mandatory vaccination is to be implemented. 친구들이랑 여행 같은 거 자유롭게 가고 싶어요. 놀이공원 가고 놀이터에서도 자주 놀고 싶어요.